Shumai everybody, Steelhouse here again. We are back with another little guide. Uh, this time we're going to be going through uh, rune words, um, early game rune words, uh, below Ammon runes, okay? Um, I'll be going through a list of items, uh, both defensive and uh, weapon based. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do have any suggestions for any future guides or content or advice, uh, please drop in the comments below. And if you do like the video please click that thumbs up um now we have got a plethora of items here that are great for early game um so basically like normal going through the normal uh difficulty of the game uh, up to the secret cow level after you defeat bail now the first one is quite a popular one. You may have heard of this one. This one's called Stealth. Now, this one can be put into any body armor. Um, it requires the runes Tal and Eth. Um, this is an absolute must for any caster build. It's got some fantastic uh, um, uh, uh, sort of prefixes, and uh, it is 25 faster run war, 25 faster cast rate. 25% faster hit recovery, plus a few extra uh, to things like mana and poison. So fantastic armor for any starting belt. Now the next one is Nadir. This one needs to be done in a two socketed helmet. Any helmet, two sockets. It needs the runes Nef and Tyr. So very easy to obtain these runes. Uh, all, most of these runes you can get from the Countess in normal um, and if you feel that some of the uh, some of the runes aren't dropping for you you can then if you find three of the same runes you can put them into the herodric cube and cube the items up to the next uh, rune level um, so it would be something like if you had uh, three thulls you can create one ammon which is as i said in this guide it's ammon rune and below all right so the next one is a melee for the melees out there um it's malice now this one needs three sockets uh any melee weapon as long as it's a melee weapon three sockets you can put it into a mace an axe a spear whichever as long as it's melee uh you need the runes ith l and s those are the only three you need and in that order uh, fantastic uh, fantastic some uh, prefixes on this 100 percent chance of open wounds prevents monsters heals uh, 25 percent reduction in target defense and 100 to monster defense per hit minus 100 sorry uh, but it does have something called drain life which will take about one to two hp off you it's like one one hp every two seconds something like that that's the drain rate roughly um now the next item we're going to go in is a defensive one and this is quite an easy one to get by the time you get to act five this is ancient's pledge you need a three socketed shield any shield three sockets make sure it is a gray item do not do not put any of your runes in a blue socketed item you will regret it <laughs> uh, ancient's pledge needs three runes ral Ort and Tal. Uh, these runes can actually be obtained by completing the quest in Act 5. It's the second quest in Act 5 uh, where you save the barbarians. Uh, Qualkek in the mercenary uh, higher guy, he will give you the runes after you complete that quest. And all you need is a three socketed shield, and you will have an awesome resistant shield there. Um, fantastic, without a doubt. A must for any caster uh, build now the next one is very much on the boazon sort of side the first one we're looking at is uh, zephyr now zephyr needs two socketed bows i tend to go with the hunter's bow because it has good attack speed on its base uh, plus this rune wood actually increases the attack speed even further taking it to very fast attack speed um, you need the runes ort and eth and it's as simple as that. Some fantastic uh, things on this one. Increased attack speed, increased damage, uh, minus 25% target uh, defense is reduced, some lightning damage, and it does cast uh, some twisters, level one twister. It's, it's just something. Some extra physical damage out there. Now, the next one, this has got very many uses, not just for just the Boazun. You can have this on and off and on any character if you really want. Now, Edge needs three sockets. Same again, I tend to put it into a, 
uh, a hunter's bow because of the speed. Uh, you need three runes. You need Tyr, Tal, and Ammon. So Ammon, this is the first one. We are doing lower than Ammon runes for this uh, early game rune words. Uh, this is called Edge. It has uh, level 15 Thorns Aura. It's got increased attack speed by 35%. I've rolled 354% damage to demons, 280 on the undead, some poison. Um, we've got some lifesteal. We've got prevent monster heal as well. Plus we've got uh, some to all attributes. Uh, so that will give me eight to strength, dexterity, vitality, and energy. Plus this gives two to mana after each kill, which is great for an Amazon, uh, Amazon because they use mana up so quickly. Same with maybe a sorceress or a necromancer using all that mana up. Now, this, this last skill at the bottom, you'll just see it just about here. <laughs> it reduces all vendor prices by 15%. This is fantastic for anybody that is doing uh, gambling. Have this bow. Pop it in your offhand or just have it in, in, your, uh, in your inventory. Uh, obviously in the used area, um, which is there. <laughs> um, it will reduce the cost of gambling. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. Do we'll use that bow. Now the next one, uh, this one is a two-socketed sword. It can go into a two-socketed uh, any melee weapon again. It's called Strength. Now this one also uses the, the highest rune we're going with on this early rune words uh, guide. Uh, it's an Ammon rune to start with and a Tyr rune. So Ammon, Tyr in that order. This one gives you lifesteal, a uh, chance to crush and blow, lots of strength, lots of vitality and mana after each kill. So another good melee weapon. Now the next one, this one is uh, Steel. Uh, steel is uh, two socketed, but it can only be in a sword, an axe or a mace. But be careful with maces because some maces uh, won't accept the rune word. So a scepter is classed as a mace, but it will not accept this rune word um, because it comes under scepters. It's weird. It's a weird thing. It's something to do with the background code of the classes and things like that. But yes, steel. I stick with just swords, axes, and then the basic maces like uh, flails um, and, and literally a, a mace uh, or a flanged mace or something like that. Um, now steel, it needs two runes. It needs Tyr rune and an L rune. Now these are the three lowest uh, runes. So L is the first and Tyr is the third because you got L Eld and then Tyr. So these are the lowest uh, runes. Uh, increased attack speed, enhanced damage, maximum and min minimum and maximum damage, attack rating, and then quite important ones, 50% uh, chance to open wounds and some mana after each claim, which is awesome. Now the next one is, without a doubt, one of my favorites weapon ones um, I'd probably say my favorites are stealth and leaf leaf is so easy to get two socketed staff uh, make sure it's not magic it's got to be a gray gray staff <laughs> um, it needs two runes a tim rune and a ral rune these are can be easily uh, obtained from the countess um, and be sure as well Wands, even though they come under staffs as a class, they do not work for this rune word. You can't put this rune word into a wand. It has to be a staff. I tend to go with short staff because it's got normal attack speed. And you can use this for not just the sorceress. Now, this has three to fire skills. It means any fire skills. So if I'm using a druid using a uh, firestorm, if I use leaf, I will benefit from those three fire skills. I won't benefit from the sorceress only skills, but I will benefit from those three fire skills. Uh, same with the assassin using the fire traps, the paladin using holy fire. Uh, anything that is a fire skill will benefit from these plus three to fire skills. And to have plus three to fire skills early on in the game, fantastic. Uh, if you're a sorceress, of course, and you go in fire, you get th basically you get six to inferno, six to warmth, and six to fire bolt. And to have that early on in the game is, without a doubt, the best. Plus, icing on the cake, uh, this does, uh, based on character level, it gives you defense. So, higher level you are, the more defense you get. Uh, but also has cold 
resist. 33% this one's rolled, and then two to mana after each kill, which is fantastic. So without a doubt, a fantastic staff. Uh, now, the next one we've got is probably the highest one we're going to look at. Uh, without an honourable mention, obviously, for this one. This is Spirit. Spirit is uh, can only be made in a sword or a shield. It has to be four sockets. This is the first one and the only one uh, that we'll be going through in this uh, rune word guide, early rune word guide, uh, which is Ammon and Below. This needs a Tal rune, a Thul rune, an Ort rune and an Ammon rune in that order into a four socketed uh, sword has to be a sword now I tend to put this into crystal swords because they're you know 43 strength level 25 required because of the Ammon rune um, it gives you two to all skills early game that's amazing uh, faster cast rate can go up to 35% uh, faster hit recovery 55% some enhanced damage some lightning some cold some poison uh, life steal uh, this one's 7% 7% uh, some defense against missile uh, 22 to vitality we love vitality 109 to mana on this one which is great for any caster and then some 6 6 to magic absorb as well now many of you will go well how, how do I get the four socketed crystal sword that's the hard part it is indeed the harder part compared to the runes the runes are very easy to get uh, because you can just go to the counters and get all of those the almond rune you might have to actually um rune up uh but you should be able to get some uh thals and some almonds through normal towards the end uh maybe act five and act four uh, uh, act four and act five um but remember you can use your cube to cube up the runes uh, as well so you can you know go from tals to rals to arts and go that way uh now to get the four socket to crystal sword all you need to do is go to the cow level. Now, I do have a guide on that. If you want to know how to get to the cow level, go check out that video too. <laughs> um, you go to the cow level, and then all you're looking for is either for them to drop you a four-socketed crystal sword, which can happen, uh, but all you need to get is a crystal sword, a white crystal sword. It has to be just crystal sword. It has to be white. And then what you can do is take that crystal sword to Lazak in Act 5, the blacksmith. He will give you a socket quest, which is the very first quest in Act uh, 5. And then you pop that crystal sword that dropped in the cow level into uh, his... It brings up a box on the left-hand side. Pop that in there to add sockets, and it will give you guaranteed four sockets in that crystal sword. Uh, and if it's not guaranteed, you can chat at me in the comments, because it is guaranteed. <laughs> um, now, there is something else that works with Spirit. This is a lot harder to get. This is an early game rune word, but I wanted to just bring it attention as an honourable mention. Spirit can be placed into a shield. Now, it's the exact same runes. And it's, but the problem is you need to get a monarch shield. Now, a monarch shield is the hell version of the kite shield. Uh, you won't be getting this item until end of nightmare and then begin start of, of hell. Uh, but if you do get this item, uh, you will need 156 strength to wear it. That even includes any sorceress. You, you really need 156 strength. Uh, and you need to be level 54. Now, this gives you a, a lot of the benefits from the sword, which is 2 to all skills, uh, faster cast rate, uh, faster hit recovery, defense to missile, 22 to vitality, mana, 99 on this one. Uh, but it also gives you cold resist, lightning resist, and poison resist, 35%. It's got the magic absorb and it's got attack it takes damage of 14. So this one, if you're wearing spirit spirit, a crystal sword and a shield, you are getting almost 200 mana, you're getting 44 vitality, you're getting, um, I think it's 35 is the most on both. So you can get 35, you can basically get 70% faster cast rate just by having these two items. Uh, but I am fully aware that this is a lot harder to get and isn't early game rune words. Uh, but overall, we've got all these items. We've got Stealth, Nadir, Malice, Ancient's Pledge, uh, Zephyr, Edge, Strength, Steel, Leaf, and then Spirit. Um, so I hope 
this guide was helpful to you if you have any questions or you have any suggestions for any future guides or anything you want to discuss about this please drop a comment below and if you like the video please click that like button and if you haven't already done so i would really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button to let you know of when my next guide videos are coming out so i will bid you adieu thank you very much everybody i'll catch you in the next one bye everybody